Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. Sunday before Valentine's Day. I am trying to get the lighting to be a little bit better. I feel like it's dark today. I don't know what the deal is. But anyways, I guess we're going to have to go with it. Hopefully you can see everything. Oh, good morning, everyone. My name is Tiffany Almeida. I'm with Pretty in Paper Crafts. And oh, the first thing I get to do today is announce our winner from our raffle last week. I gave away a stamp set. Oh, as I hit my camera, sorry. I gave away a stamp set, and the way that you entered my drawing was just by going onto my web, my raffle website and entering your information. You automatically got entered into the drawing. Good morning, Terry. Good morning, Amanda. I'm giving away a stamp set. I'm super excited. I've already um, clicked the button that says pick a random winner. Our winner has been selected, and the winner is... Do, 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 Janie Fox. Congratulations, Janie. This is coming your way. I'm super excited for you. Um, thank you to everybody who uh, entered the drawing and who, good morning, Kim, and who gave me suggestions for fun um, things to do for, for Facebook Live um, in the future. So, Janie, you, this is coming your way. Super excited. Very happy. Love giving away cool things. Um, and I wanted to show you guys woo, show you guys what I'm giving away next week and now I can find it where did I put it oh there it is okay so I figured we better give something good morning good morning Tammy um figured we better give something away that is Valentine's related and something that's in the occasions catalog that's super super pretty are these um Painted Love Gold Vinyl Stickers. Now, they don't need to be just for Valentine's. They are beautiful. There's some beautiful wreaths and some hearts and some very pretty decorations. There's some words um, and some, like, paint, kind of paint splotches type looks. So, very pretty. I think you could use it for more than just Valentine's. Um, but it comes... Let's see. Let's open it. This is going to be our prize. Oh, and thank you everyone for going in and entering the raffle. I am not going to do the raffle um, copter uh, thing this this week. I found a way that is super easy just by commenting or sharing my post or my video. Um, you'll be entered and I can actually just click a button and still it will pick somebody at random. So I was like, well, that's even easier. So I don't have to send people to another site. So please enter your, the giveaway. You could be winning these um, vinyl stickers. There's four sheets and it looks like two of each sheet. There's like strips of hearts and strips of uh, pretty little decorations on this one. And then there's some like the word love and other things on this one. So very cool. Um, happy Valentine's Day to everybody. Uh, very excited to help Morgan make her Valentine's. She's the only one that's still small enough in my life to make Valentine's for her class. Jamie's in high school and so she's too cool for that now. So, got to enjoy it while I still can. And, of course, I uh, make Valentine's as well and try to send those out. So, I'll be working on that as well. Hopefully, you guys are working on something Valentine's related, too, in your lives. All right. So, that is next week's prize. Again, comment or share, it, please. And you will get entered into the into, to win this. And I will send it your way. Um, yesterday was the last day to sign up for my Picture Perfect birthday card class. It's happening at my house next Saturday, or if you're long distance, it can be happening at your house whenever. <laughs> um, I can send the kit to you. Um, I can ship it directly to you with a full PDF of instructions. Um, and so basically for this class, um, there's two options. One comes with the stamp set and the paper and all of the projects, and the other one was just the paper. You did not want the stamp set. Either you already had it or you were gonna use something else. Um, like you could use this at my party, but if you were going to order it to go. So just in case you missed the deadline yesterday, I am extending it out today. So if you want to um, partake in this par partake in this class, let me know, message me, and I will get that taken care of. Um, but we have four very fun, beautiful cards in this class that we'll be making. Um, and they all are using that, that wonderful designer series paper. And I just... Can we just talk about the colors in this set? I mean, I love Berry Burst, Bermuda Bay, Lemon Lime, Peekaboo Peach. I mean, I think they were thinking of me when they made this set. Hi, Lisa. 
Um, and then I went and I tried um, covering envelopes with the same paper so they coordinate with the card. Uh, so that is a really cool little fun, um, you know, little addition to the cards. And then, that, of course, that's not enough because then we still need to party like pandas. So we have a little birthday party panda treat. It's full of those little Hershey nuggets. Um, so that's super cute. It just pulls up. So we'll be making one of those. And then this cake, uh, cupcake holder. This is cute. Um, it's using one of the mini pizza boxes. And then you put this cupcake box over it and you have a little treat inside. And I saw someone that put like a, oh my gosh, it was like this little tubby panda hand cream. Super, super cute. So um, I am extending that out to you today. If you needed time, you forgot that, um, it, that it was due yesterday, I will give you a chance to get registered for this. Um, just message me and I will get you the information that you need. Okay, now we still have a few more days to get registered for my Panda Party Panda Fancy Fold class. And that one is teaching you five different fun techniques for um, fancy folds. And we're, of course, using the Picture Perfect Birthday and the Party Pandas. So, card in a box, one of the techniques that we'll be doing, I'll show you how to do this. Um, the Twist Gate card, which is so fun. Um, if I can get it untied here. And it just opens, wah! So I thought that was really fun, I love those. And then, of course, the Waterfall Technique, which, one of my new favorite techniques, I love that. So, and then we've got our little side, uh, stand, step card, it's called a step card, and a double slider card. And it always gets caught right there. But double slider card, so cool. And the, the best part about it is I have a suggested shopping list of things you'll need for this cl class. Um, but you can really just go in and spend $35 using my hostess code. $34, I'm sorry, using my hostess code. Buy whatever you want if you already own some of the products for this. I send you all the pieces to make the products or make the projects. And um, you use hostess code E-N-D-K-S-A-Z4. I'm going to say it one more time. E-N-D-K-S-A-Z4. Go place an order. Um, you can use the suggested list I gave you or you can use your own. Place an order with that hostess code and you'll get that kit and you'll get all the videos mailed to you. Um, I, I did videos of showing you how to assemble them so you can just follow along on the videos. Um, so that is awesome. And if you're on my team, if you sign up under me, you actually get all, the, all of my videos for free just for being on my team. And then if you want one of the kits to follow along with us, you just have to pay um, the cost to make the cost of the product. So um, it's like, I think for this class, it was $15. So awesome perk for being on my team. You get, get those tutorials for free. All right, let's talk about what I'm doing today. I'm using another celebration set. And I have to be honest with you guys, this set was not one of my favorites. And it really, I really, really struggled with um, trying to use it and trying to find something that I loved with it. Um, so it was the Heartfelt Blooms. I know, um, good morning, Janie. Um, I know that um, it was not one that jumped out at me like, oh my gosh, I have to have this. But it's, so, it's such a pretty set. And once I started using it, I fell in love with it. And I think you are gonna fall in love with it too. So I'll show you what we're gonna do. But this stamp set is very special because it, it looks photographic. It looks realistic. And if you look at the stamp set itself, I mean, you can hardly tell. There's really like no ridges. Like I don't even know how they get the image on here, but it's like laser cut for precision. And it's just super, super cool. When you get it stamped on there, um, it's really neat. So without further ado, I'll show you the three projects that we're gonna be making with these, um, with this stamp set. So here is the first one. And I show you how I use the blends to make this beautiful card. It's so simple, but so elegant. I just love it. And then this one, I used it both as the background and as the kind of main piece, and I didn't color it. I left it all in one um, color. And then this one, we're gonna have to do some fussy cutting, but it just made those flowers pop even more. So I'll show you how we did all three cards. Um, we'll walk you through those, but we're gonna start with this one and get some coloring under our belts, okay? So here's the pieces that I used for this card. I got Berry Burst. I love Berry Burst. It's cut at five and a half by eight and a half. 
and um, scored at four and a quarter. I got a piece of basic black cut at four by five and a quarter. And then I've got a piece of uh, Whisper White cut at five and one eighth by three and seven eighths. So just slightly smaller than the black. Okay, so then we're going to, um, we're gonna be using our aqua painter. So we wanna use the archival black ink when we do the stamping for this one. So I've got my archival black ink. I'm gonna move my coffee out of the way before I make, make mistakes, you know me. Okay, and then I'm gonna get my stamp. I had to use a bigger block. I think I had to use block E for this one. So I've got my block, just making sure that's pushed and stuck real well. Okay, so I'm just going to get it real inky here. And I always check, I always check. Look at that, look at the image. Can you see that now? Like it looked like nothing, but now it's got all that detail. It's a really, really cool effect. Okay, and then I'm going to stamp it. I want it to kind of be off to the right top portion of the card. And I just want to kind of push and leave some even pressure pressure while it while the ink kind of transfers. So there we go. Ah, oh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Look at all the detail in that. Oh, I'm just geeking over it. I love it. Okay, so now for the aqua painter. Um, I'm going, well, actually, I'm going to let it dry a little bit. I'm also using Berry Burst ink. That is what um, I used to color the flower in my example here. But I'm going to let that dry just a little bit. And while I'm waiting for it to dry, I'll go ahead and stamp the sentiment, thinking of you. This, st this stamp set actually has some very beautiful sentiments. Sending heartfelt thoughts, thank you, and thinking of you. So I just love um, the, the font and the sentiments. They're just great. So I'm going to stamp that in Berry Burst. Getting a little bit of ink on my stamp. You guys, how are you doing today? Everybody good? Everybody awake? I had a pretty rough night. My daughter went to twerp last night. Twerp dance for high school. She's a, she's a freshman this year. I almost said senior. My gosh, what was I thinking? And she um, had a blast. And it was like sports themed. But that meant that her mother had to stay up till midnight to pick her and her friends up. And take them home. So, needless to say, I didn't get much sleep last night, and um, I'm a little tired this morning. I may go back to bed after this. Not gonna lie, but it's Sunday, and I'm allowed to do that. So, thank God for that. All right, uh, my aqua painter. The tip is a little like it's moist, it's wet, it's not dripping, um, and I'm just picking up some ink out of the lid of my ink pad, and I'm just going to I'm gonna start at the you know kind of the center of the leaf and I'm going to take the color and push it out on my leaf now if I wasn't on video and you guys didn't have better things to do with your time I would be super careful about staying in the lines and making sure it looked wonderful but you guys get the gist of the idea okay I'm just painting the flowers and you'll have to use some kind of creative you know judgment calls as to where you think flowers begin and flowers end and leaves begin and leaves end, you know. You choose, you figure out what works for you. It is gonna be wet, your paper is gonna be wet, so definitely don't glue anything down until you've colored because the paper may warp a little bit. You want it to dry all the way before you glue it together. But it just looks so cool once you add that color, it just makes it pop even more. And you just keep playing with it and keep coloring till you're happy with where it's at. I would be taking my time and not getting out of the lines, you guys, normally, but we got three cards to get through this morning, so can't be playing around all morning. Well, we could, but then your families might get mad at me because I took up your entire Sunday. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? You can just clean off the ink out of your aqua painter just brush it a couple times till it comes clean okay and now I'm going to use um, I believe I used garden green for my leaves so I'm gonna do that again how you get your ink on your lid is just squish squish it and then it leaves a little spot 
your little paint palette. Just pick up the color. And really, because the, most of the leaf is black anyway, um, you just need color at the ends. You know, where there's some, some white space. It's, it really doesn't take that much work to add some pops of color in this. And I love the fact that, you know, we have different tools. Like I could have played with the blends. If I had used Memento Black Ink, I could have tried coloring the blends, but I like the watercolor. It's like subtle, but, but it just makes it pop out. Okay, well, I think that's a flower. I don't want to color that green. Maybe this is a leaf here. And then even um, I wanted to add some yellow to the center of my flower. You can even add yellow to your other flowers in the picture. You know, they don't all have to be the same flower. It could be a bunch of different flowers. But look at that. Isn't that pretty? Like these could be little, I don't know, little sunflowers if you wanted. It doesn't matter, guys. It's whatever you see in your head. They're just pretty flowers. Okay. Look at that. Woo. Pretty little flowers. So that's that's basically it. That's how you color this, this stamp set. It's really pretty. Just putting the cap back on my aqua painter. Gonna let that dry for a second. I'm gonna show you guys a really neat way to tie a knot. Because as you can see here, I used Berry Burst Seam Binding Ribbon um, around the card. And um, what you do to do that, I learned this from, gosh, I can't remember her name. Oh, uh, Janie, wrong Janie. Janie Fox is the winner of uh, uh, the Peacock Stamp Set from last week. So I've, I've tied a knot around my finger, and then I'm going to tie another knot, and it's going to make a circle. Keep my finger in there. Pull that. Okay. Slide that out. Now I can, oh, I used way too much. Now I can uh, put my ribbon down like so. I'm going to put some adhesive on the back. I'm going to use my fast fuse. I love my fast fuse. You guys, did you hear? Okay, you probably didn't hear. And I am pretending that this is completely dry. You may want to use your heat gun or let it sit and dry all the way. Actually, I'm gonna put some adhesive there because it's trying to curl on me. Um, but this, the fast fuse sale they had a couple days ago, holy cow. So they had originally released this fast fuse sale back in October, I believe, or maybe it was November. And um, they ha had this sale was buy one fast fuse and get two refills for free. And um, it was supposed to be open for, I believe, 12 days or five days, I don't know. And I didn't even get a chance to get it. Like it sold out in like, I think two days, two days time. And I hadn't put my order in yet and I missed out. So they promised Stampin' Up! didn't realize how big the sale was gonna be. And um, Stampin' Up! said, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna uh, bring our stock back in and we'll do, do the sale again sometime later. We promise, right? And was like, okay. So then they, re they now said, okay, we're going to have another fast. Oh no, guys, look what I did. Oh, okay. Um, we're going to have another fast fuse sale for five days or until it, until, you know, until we can't do it anymore. So I was super excited. I got up early. I ordered only two. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. I should have ordered a ton. I only ordered two. It literally sold out in less than two hours. Less than two hours. They had sold over two years worth of, of fast views. They have actually run out completely. Like it's gone forever. Um, so if you didn't get it, yeah, you're not gonna like say goodbye. Like I really almost cried. Um, they are actually uh, gonna come out with something else, I guess, in the new catalog. I'm not quite sure what, but um, the only thing available while supplies last now is fast views refills. So if you don't have a fast views, you can't get it anymore, but if you have a fast fuse, you can still get the refills until they sell out. Sad day. So, sad, sad day. I'm gonna be hoarding mine and crying 
when my last one is all gone. So I'm just centering this as I've been talking, you guys. I really haven't been telling you what I've been doing, but kind of been just gluing the layers down. I did my little knot bow here, um, and I've got my little thinking of you, and then I've got my little string of rhinestones, because you know me and bling. It's gotta have some bling on it. So I just pulled a strip of rhinestones and placed it up and down right here. There, there you go. Easy peasy. So it's kind of fun to color your flower um, with aqua painter. So there's card number one. Okay. Okay, card number two I love, love, love because it's it's so subtle and yet so pretty in the background. Can you see that? Look how pretty that is. So we used um, a crumb cake. So we'll do the crumb cake stamping first. And I have to actually clean my stamp block. So give me one second, guys. Sorry. Sorry, gotta clean it off. I think I'm being silly today more than usual, but it's probably from lack of sleep. I cannot wait for my teenager to be able to drive because this whole chauffeur thing is not fun. Okay, clean my stamp. Got my crumb cake ink. Yes, blinger dingers, you know. You know, Terry. Gotta make it pop. My cards like to be fancy. Okay, got some crumb cake on there and I'm just gonna stamp it. I'm gonna stamp it a couple times. Try to fill up as much as I can of the paper. I'm gonna turn it so I have different directions. Ooh, I didn't do a very good job on that. Good thing it's a background stamp. Make sure you give it good, even pressure. I didn't do that very well on my last one. You can kind of see it's not very dark and it's got some edges to it. So be very deliberate. When you push down, put it push down even. It's a big stamp, so it needs even pressure. Okay, so I've got my beautiful background. And I used Calypso Coral on this stamps, or on this um, project. I love crumb cake and Calypso Coral. Actually, I love Calypso Coral with pretty much every other color. Um, it's very pretty. It's not quite an orange and it's not quite a pink. Um, but it's just like right in between and it's so pretty. So I have to clean my um, stamp block off again. And I used my lots of labels and I cut out a lots of labels in very vanilla. And I know Lisa, I, I probably will, but I really like my sleep. And I'll probably be up worrying about them anyway, but oh, I can be worrying about them in my bed and not driving around at midnight, dropping people off. I don't know, I'm probably just being selfish, but <sighs> they do grow up too fast. And they wanna grow up faster than they should be. Isn't that funny? I don't know if girls are more so than guys. Me and my husband are having this conversation. Is it girls that think they need to grow up so fast? Because they want to be adults so much quicker, quicker, huh? So much quicker than boys. I don't know. I never had a boy, so I don't know. But my daughters think they're 30, and they're not. Far from it. So, anyways, there you go. Now we just need to put that on. Um, I, I cut uh, the second, uh, the largest size up, one up from the um, lots of labels as my little border. I'm just going to glue this down. Oh, Fast Fuse, I'm going to miss you for reals. I'm like still shocked that it's going away. I love it more than tear and tape. Not once I figured out how to use it, there is a learning curve. Yes, Amanda, Calypso Coral and Night of Navy, oh, gorgeous. Didn't I do a card with that last week? I think with the peacocks. I don't know, can't remember that far back. Okay, so I've got my base, which is cut. I should have told you guys measurements, I'm sorry. This is cut at five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So it's actually gonna be a card that um, lifts from the top. I've got my crumb cake base. This is cut at five and a quarter by four. And uh, I'm gonna put that actually I'm not gonna put it down yet. I'm gonna glue the lace down like I'm supposed to. I like when I catch my mistakes before I do them. So I've got this beautiful crocheted lace. It's very vanilla, so pretty. It's in the annual catalog. And um, you're going to put that down 
kind of slightly lower than the center of your card. You're gonna stick it to the back, like so. Glue it, glue it to the back. And then um, we're gonna lay it down, centered on our piece of paper. Do, 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 do. Have you guys gotten your Valentines done? You guys sending Valentines out this year? I've got some of my Valentines done, but the ones that need to go in the mail, I haven't even started yet. Oh, I know that's bad. But February's flying by. I swear it was February 1st, like two days ago. Where's the time going? Okay, so I've put some fast fuse behind here. You could also do dimensionals. Just make sure it's super sticky and it will stay on top of the lace. Um, and I've, I've, off, I've off centered it. I want it to be over as far as I can, um, but I still want some of the lace showing because I'm gonna put a bow on the other side. So figure out where you want it. Place it down. Look how pretty that is. Is that not a beautiful stamp set? I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know why I didn't like it at first. I was crazy. It's one of those that like, you have to actually get out of the case and then you fall in love with it. And remember, Heartfelt Blooms is one of the celebration items that you can get with a $50 purchase. Um, and you can get all of my make and takes from today's video for free if you place an order using this hostess code. You have till Wednesday to do that, so you have val till Valentine's. And remember, um, you could be earning your invitation to my VIP event in April by doing these things. So there's three, three ways to earn my VIP. How many of you guys have already earned the VIP event? So here's the ways you earn it. You can spend $150 on my online store between January 1st to March 31st. You can host a private party, which I know Terry's done, and or you can sign up. If you sign up during celebration um, and become one of my team members, then you get an invitation. So I've been making a bow while I chit chat with you guys. And I made this one a lot smaller, but that's okay. It doesn't matter what size the bow is. You just make it however you want and just put it on the left side of your little pretty, pretty uh, label there. Okay, and then I've got to do my sentiment. Okay, so what are they saying? Oh, okay, so the last way to get an invitation to my party is by um, signing up under me. And I was thinking about this. Um, don't forget, I don't want to do it. I didn't want to forget about my long distance buddies, my long distance friends. Um, so you will get um, the VIP event to go and you'll have everything um, sent to you uh, and as my little thank you, my little thank you package. It'll be a VIP to go, VIP package to go. So um, just because you can't be here locally doesn't mean that I won't reward you for being an amazing customer during celebration. So, and then of course, you know, being on my team, there's perks, we have team meetings and um, you get all of my uplines uh, videos and tutorials and you can use them for yourself. Um, they're always sharing really fun projects and they always keep you up to date on everything that's happening. And they do giveaways, uh, free stamp sets, everything. So it really pays to be on my team, you guys. It's a lot of fun, even if you're not, you don't wanna sell a thing and you never have to, but you could be getting two free stamp sets, $125 worth of product for $99, and um, getting all the free stuff for being on the team. Okay, I'm not even telling you guys what I'm doing. Ah, it's one of those days, I need to go back to bed. I stamped thank you on my little label. This label is from the Petals and Passion Suite, and I'll show you what it looks like. Um, one of my favorite, favorite sets. This is the Thinlet dies, and it has a super cute, adorable label. Look at that, is that not the cutest thing? It fits so many wonderful sentiments, and so I just stamped it with thank you. Thank you fit perfectly inside of it. And, um, and then, just to kind of give it dimension and have it pop up from the paper, I'm just dipping it in my ink pad around the edges. Now you could sponge it if you wanted, or you could just dip it. I'm just dipping the edges. Look at that. Can you see that? I just gave it an edge, made it pop. Put a little bit more down at the bottom, like so. Okay, there we go. Now I did put this on up on dimensionals. Doo, 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 doo. I'm gonna put two mini dimensionals on the back. Like so, peel off the backing. 
please make sure you share my video. Um, don't keep all this, these amazing giveaways to yourself. I know you really, really want to win, but it's super nice of you to share with your friends and let them have a chance to win and let them see the fun projects. Um, and I super appreciate you guys tuning in with me. Now I'm taking um, a little embellishment. This is also from the Petal Passion Suite. It is, I'm trying to think of the name, they're right here. Petal Passion Embellishments. It comes with flowers and leaves. So you get both, flowers and leaves. And I just took one of the flowers, put a glue dot behind it, and stuck it on my card, just as an extra little, little embellishment. Good morning, Shaylee. So, oh, did it come off? Yep, it did. Stick, behave. Isn't that pretty? Super, super easy card. You could whip a bunch of these out as a thank you or invitations or, you know, just a thinking of you um, or even a heartfelt, like, you know, if you need to do a sympathy card, this would be a great um, card. So this next one actually is kind of, I feel like a heartfelt um, sympathy card, you know, sending heartfelt thoughts. It could be any kind of moment that you need um, something. And this is just a beautiful a beautiful card. I'm going to show you how um, how to do this card. You will have to do some fussy cutting. I almost did the fussy cutting ahead of time just because I felt like you guys probably didn't want to sit through watching me cut. But there really is no way to kind of show you, you know, the different steps. So I've got this base. My base is cut at four and a quarter by 11. So it's a skinny tall card. It opens from the top. Um, and I did emboss it with the layering leaves. That seems to be like my favorite thing right now. I keep going back to that. So I've got my layering leaves dynamic embossing folder. Um, now I wanna make sure that I emboss it going the right way because I want the um, impression to pop out. So make sure you use the um, Stampin' Up. The Stampin' Up little label has to be on the front of your card in order for it to pop out to be raised, you want the image to be raised up. Now you can make it so that the image goes in, but I like it when it's when it's uh, out. You do it however you like. So I'm just lining this up, centering it in there. Please don't move on me, be good. It's like I have to, add, have, to have even pressure on it at all times or it slips out. Okay. We're going to go with it. Thank you, Heather. Thank you, Shaylee. You guys are super sweet. I love that you guys get together with me on Sundays. So awesome. Okay, look at that. Oh, so pretty. I love the leaves embossing folder. It's one of my favorites. Okay, so I've got my base. I'm going to set that aside because we have a lot of stamping and, and cutting to do. So I've got I just got a couple of scrap pieces of paper because we actually have to stamp this three different times. Um, and I'm using a uh, fresh fig, which is one of the in colors, one of Terry's favorite. I know fold the paper, Jamie, what do you mean? Fold the paper. What do you mean? I don't know what you mean. I'm sorry. You probably have a really, really good suggestion for me and I'm too slow to pick it up this morning. Okay. I know you're probably saying something about me putting it in the big shot, but I don't know what you mean. And I know there's a lag um, lag time on the on the um, video. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stamp the flower two times, um, and then we're gonna do some fussy cutting out of, of the flowers. I love that! Look how pretty that is! Look how clear. So um, with the folder fold my paper with the folder. I was afraid of getting the anything impressed on the back of the of the card is which why I didn't fold it. But I guess you could have the impression on the whole card. Okay. So now I've got two of my fresh fake flowers and then I need to clean my stamp set off and I need to um, stamp uh, one more time. Actually, two more times. I, did I say three? I mean four. Four times you're going to stamp. And I'm using um, Pear Pizzazz because I think Pear Pizzazz goes really pretty with um, with the fresh fig. I think it's a really pretty green with the fresh fig. Old Olive's also very pretty. We have a lot of pretty greens. So um, really all I care about is getting the leaves. 
because that's where that's what I'm going to cut out. So, stamping the leaves. Going to do that twice. Like so. All right. Time for the fussy cutting, you guys. I know you're going to hate that, but look how pretty it is. It's totally worth it in the end. Okay, so the only thing we really care about with the green is the leaves portion. So you can actually cut away the rest of the flower. And you get to make some decisions um, at this point. You get to decide how much of the flowers you want um, and where you kind of want to cut off the image. Um, and so see with this one, I liked two of the big leaves and one of the little leaves off to the side. So this one's going to be a big leaf. Um, and I could still use it for my little leaf, but you just want to go around. The leaf has a lot of turns and curves to it, but, um, just keep your scissors still and turn with your other hand, guiding the paper through the blades and just keep cutting along. And you, like I said, you get to make some decisions, get to decide where some leaves end and some start. It's not the end of the world. Um, every leaf is a little bit different. So it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to take you all day. There's one leaf. And then I'm gonna actually uh, make two leaves out of this because I need that second leaf there. So I'm gonna make, I'm gonna use that leaf there. And I'm going to cut down. I like to leave some because you're gonna have to glue them together. You need some edges. Um, so I like to leave some space that's not going to show so I can kind of layer everything together. I think the leaves are not too bad to cut. It's the flowers that take a little bit more work and I am by far like the least perfect cutter and I'm not going to be anywhere near perfect this morning because you guys are watching. Why would that? Why would that happen? <gasps> Good morning Kim! Yay! My grandma Kim she's on. She's been wanting to watch me and um, I'm so happy you're here. Yay. Thank you. Oh, she's my biggest fan. I love her and I miss her. She lives on the other side of the state and I never get to see her. Sorry. Sorry, Kim. Putting you on blast here. Miss you. Love you. So, and she's she's been a card maker a lot longer than I have. She does amazing things. She's super talented. I get this creativity from my family. I have a lot of artists in my family, my grandma included, my mom and dad. They're both very artistic. Um, pretty much everyone in my family is, so I'm very blessed. And I just, they know it's something I love to do and they're my biggest fans. You all are my biggest fans. I love all of you. Love that we get together on Sundays and craft. So, did I tell you guys that it's going to be super easy to enter my raffle for the free uh, giveaway this week because I found this um, website that goes in, you just put the link to your video and it goes in and it selects um, a winner for you at random based on your comments and shares. So, no more having to go to a separate site and enter the raffle. Now you get to just... Say hello, write a comment, share your vi share my video, and you're entered. I like easy. I don't want to make it hard for you guys. I just want to give you stuff. I just want to give you stuff. So again, here you have to make some decisions about your flower. Where, How much fussy cutting are you going to do? Where are you going to say, flower, that's it. I'm cutting off that petal. Where is it worth it for you? And again, you're going to layer, so... The flowers can be pretty much whatever you want them to be. Like, see, I kind of cut this this one off, but I'm going to make my own petal here. Oop. And we're going with it. We're just going to go. It's whatever you want it to be. I'm cutting this petal off. And that, I'm going to go up here. So... I mean, this image is beautiful and it's so detailed. You get to just 
kind of make it what you want it to be. You see, I'm just rambling, trying to distract you guys while I do all this fussy cutting. So there's one flower. And now we gotta do the second flower. And I like, um, on this one I left a little bit of this detail, so I'm not gonna cut that off this time. I'm gonna leave that detail. I'm definitely going to cut this off though. I'm not gonna even try and cut that out. Okay, so I've got my little, I'm gonna, I'm gonna focus on these two and my big flower. So I'll start here and kinda cut down to the big flower. It's very pretty, very definitely worth it. And you can see the, the, the fauceted gems, holy cow, it takes that flower to a whole nother level. I was like looking at it, I was like, it needs something. And when I put that gem on there, I was like, bam. It literally was, I was like, bam. It's like, okay, Tiffany, now you're getting weird. Don't get weird on us. So, thank you, Evelyn. That's nice of you to say. This is a really good sympathy card. If you need a sympathy card, it's beautiful. You've taken your time on it. You've put a lot of, you know, beauty and caring into it. Um, unfortunately, I don't like having to plan sympathy cards, but they happen. They happen, and we should be ready for them with a thoughtful card for somebody. And the stamp set, I'm telling you, it has these beautiful sentiments on it. So, I saved the best for last. Silence, awkward silence. So what are you guys up to? What are your Valentine plans? Anybody doing anything fun? I always hate going out on Valentine's because it's booked, it's crazy, there's tons of people out, and um, I'd much rather either choose a different day to go out that's not super crazy, or just do something something different on another day. There's just too much pressure around Valentine's. I do like to celebrate. I like to, um, you know, give a card to my hubby and, you know, tell him that I love him, which I should be doing more often than I do. But Valentine's just kind of gives that opportunity to, um, to say it. Um, but I do, I hate going out. I hate all the pressure. There's a lot of pressure in Valentine's. Okay. And I told my husband, do not give me chocolate this year. He always does. He always gives me a delicious, wonderful box of chocolates. And this year, I am um, starting a um, Biggest Loser Challenge at work on Monday. So pray for me, you guys. And I told him, please, please, I want to win. Do not buy me a box of chocolates. Even though I love it and I love getting it every year, don't do it. He's like, all right, you told me. He's like, it's on you. And I'm like, I know, I know. Do not. Okay. So I stamped my little sentiment. On this one, I stamped it a little too high and I feel like there's too much space, so I kind of brought it down a little bit, but you can kind of put it wherever you want, wherever you feel like it needs to go. Um, and I can't even remember what these measure. They're both the same size. They are four by three. That's easy, four by three. Okay, so there's two of them. We're gonna off-center them like so. So I'm gonna glue my, blue, my green one down using my precious fast fuse and I am off centering that like so oh look it's a scrap haha <laughs> couldn't even tell from the front could ya and then I've got this one here <gasps> Terry 34 years congratulations I think Evelyn just celebrated her anniversary not too long ago as well. And I think, Evelyn, how many years? 54? 54, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's amazing. Congratulations, you guys. My anniversary is in October, and I'm going on 12 years? Crazy. Okay, so now I'm going to build my flower up. Um, and fortunately, see this impression that's on my leaf? I can actually like line up where it was before. So I took that flower that I cut out, lined it up with that. You don't have to do that, but it's it's just a nice way to 
line things up. So you've got to kind of figure out where you're going to want your want your flowers. Um, I think I want this one to come out the side like so. So I'm going to put some glue. I tried to take the cap off that was already off my glue. Ugh. Okay, and then I'm going to glue that behind like so. And then I've got my other leaf. Putting some glue on him. Can you guys see him right off? Am I off camera? I think you guys can see. So I think that should be good. I might want to bring it out a little bit. That's why I love liquid glue. You have a little bit of little bit of wiggle room. It's not permanent right when you lay it down. So then I think my last flower is going to be right about there. But I'm going to do this one with dimensionals just to even add even more pop. So I'm putting some fast fuse on. And I'm going to put that down in my corner, like so. Okay, and I'm gonna get some dimensionals and pop up my flower here. And then I'm going to lay that down in the bottom. I don't want it to go over my edge too much because then it won't fit in the card, in the envelope. But I think this should be good. Okay. And then you get your little faucetted gems. Can't go without the faucetted gems. These things are awesome. Clear, these are the clear. There's gold um, or clear. And these are in the annual catalog in the back with the embellishments. Love embellishments. And I'm going to put this one. Excuse me, little leaf. Like so, isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh. And then just to kind of top it off, I put some Baker's twine around the top of the card, wrapped it several times and tied a bow. So I'll show you that real quick. And then your card's complete. These are really not that hard. Hi Christy, thank you. Thank you, I'm glad you like my card. Okay. I have to do this upside down. Because I'm, I don't know if it's because I'm left-handed or what works for me, but when I do these, it works to have my card upside down. My bows come out better. Um, I want to do it three times though, so I'm gonna give myself a little bit more um, room here and wrap it one more time. Okay. So you can see I've wrapped it two times, but when this comes around, it's gonna be three. So see that and. I'm tying a bow kind of off to the side because I want it, I don't want it to be centered. Just doing it like I normally would tie my shoes. Just like so. And then you can trim your little tails down to the size you want. I feel like this guy's too big on this side, but you fuss with it. There's not a bow that you, you don't have to fuss with. You really do have to tell it what you want and make it do what you want. And I don't even think I want to trim, but look at that. Oh, well, maybe I do. But you figure out what's good for you, and then you have a beautiful card. Look at that. Okay, guys, which one's your favorite? I have to know. Do you like the berry burst with the colors? Do you like the purple, um, the ones that are fussy cut? Or do you like the Calypso Coral? What do you think? Which one's your favorite? I, I don't even know if I could pick. I mean, I th I love, love, love this one. But there's something about that one that's so pretty. It's like simple but pretty. So tell me what you guys think. I hope you guys enjoyed the cards. These can be free. I can send these to you with a $30 order. And make sure um, if you have an extra $20 to spend, it's totally worth it. Because you'll get this stamp set for free or any of the other stamp sets that's in the catalog for free. The Celebration Catalog. Tammy, purple, should have known, you love purple. Um, but yeah, they're beautiful cards. I had a lot of fun um, playing with them. And next week, I'm going to be using the Lots of Lavender. So pretty, you guys. I can't wait for you guys to see these. You're gonna freak out. So this is next week, giving you a little heads up. Purple and coral, yeah, Kim, I am the same. Yeah, you guys, are, you guys both like the fig and the fresh fig and the Calypso coral. Yeah, I agree with you. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Have a wonderful Sunday. 
and make sure you get entered for the drawing next week and hope you guys have a fabulous Valentine's Day, whatever you guys end up doing. Um, thank you guys so much. Thank you, Christy, for sharing. I love it. Um, you guys are the best, and I will see you next week. Have a great week, guys. Bye-bye.